Hey everyone, and welcome to a deep dive that gets really personal. We're going to talk about intermittent fasting. Okay. But not just generally, <laughs> you know. We're going to zero in on how it can be a game changer yeah. for anyone listening with blood type O right. specifically. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and what's really fascinating about this is that, you know, it's not just about skipping meals. Uh -huh. It's about this idea of syncing up with like your body's natural rhythms yeah. in a way that blood type O folks are kind of uniquely primed for. Yeah. And we're pulling a lot of our insights today from the BioBoon by B13 YouTube channel. Okay. Which really dives into this whole blood type specific approach. I love it. Health. Okay, so right off the bat, yeah. why blood type O? Right. What makes it so different when it comes to fasting? Well, the video explains that people with blood type O tend to have higher levels of stomach acid. Okay. Which means they're better at breaking down proteins mm -hmm. and handling these like longer periods without food. In fact, historically, blood type O is linked to like hunter gatherer societies right. who didn't always have regular meals. Yeah. So it's like fasting is kind of in their DNA. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. Like their bodies are already prepped for it. Right. But how does this translate into like actual benefits? Yeah. Uh -huh. The video mentions weight loss. Right. Anti aging, mm -hmm. even tackling insulin resistance. Exactly. And all of these benefits tie into the interplay of two key hormones. Okay. Growth hormone. Okay. And insulin. Got it. Now, growth hormone is like your inner fountain of youth. Interesting. Boosting metabolism. Okay. Helping you burn fat. Sign me up for more of that. Right. But here's the catch. Okay. Insulin, while important for processing sugar. Yeah can actually block growth hormone production oh, when it's yeah. constantly elevated. Okay. So think of it this way. If insulin is a faucet that's always running, right. it's really tough for growth hormone to kind of get a word in edgewise. I see. You know? Okay, so too much insulin. Yeah. Too little growth hormone. Right. Not a good combo. Not a good combo for anyone. For anyone trying to stay lean and youthful. Exactly. But how does this specifically affect blood type O? Well, here's the key takeaway. Okay. Blood type O folks seem to be particularly susceptible to something called insulin resistance, okay. meaning their cells don't respond to insulin as efficiently. Mm. It's like you're trying to talk to someone in a language they don't understand. Okay. The message gets lost in translation. So the insulin is there, but the body isn't listening. Precisely. Yeah, and because of this disconnect, yeah. the pancreas goes into overdrive, producing even more insulin. Oh, no. And this creates a vicious cycle of high insulin levels yeah. without the desired effect uh -huh. and well. potentially leading to prediabetes and other metabolic issues. This is where it gets really interesting. Right. The video suggests that intermittent fasting uh -huh. can be this powerful tool to break this cycle, mm. specifically for blood type O individuals. Yeah. But before we get into the how, yeah. let's talk about the why. Okay. What makes it so effective? Intermittent fasting gives the body a break from these constant insulin spikes. Okay. Allowing insulin sensitivity to improve. Got it. And for blood type O with their predisposition to insulin resistance, yeah. this can be a game changer. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. I can see how that would be really helpful. Exactly. Yeah, it's like hitting the reset button uh -huh. on your metabolism. Okay. Giving your body a chance to like recalibrate. Yeah and become more responsive to insulin. So it's not just about weight loss. Right. It's about addressing this like underlying issue exactly. that blood type O individuals yeah. might be facing. Yeah, and the beauty of intermittent fasting is that it's not about deprivation right. or like restrictive diets. Yeah. It's simply about shifting when you eat. Okay. Not what you eat. That's reassuring. Yeah. But I imagine there are different approaches Right. To intermittent fasting. Yeah. What does the video recommend for someone with blood type O? Yeah. Who's just starting out? They recommend easing into it. Okay. Not making drastic changes overnight. Got it. A great first step is simply becoming more mindful okay. of your eating habits. Mm -hmm. Reduce snacking. Yeah. Aim for three balanced meals a day. Okay. With no snacking in between. That seems manageable. Right. But I'm guessing there's more to it than that. Yeah. Once you're comfortable with those three meals. You're right. Once you've got that down, yeah. you can explore the 168 method. Okay. This is where the magic of intermittent fasting really kicks in. Interesting. For blood type O. Okay. Um, it involves fasting for 16 hours. Okay. And having an eight-hour eating window. So like having dinner 
at 8 p.m. Yeah. And then not eating again until like noon the next day. Exactly. Right. And remember, the focus is on when you eat. Right. Not restricting what you eat during your eating window. Got it. Yeah. 16 hours fasting. Yep. Yep. Eight hours to fuel up. Exactly. So. Sounds doable. Yeah. But I'm sure some overachievers out there are wondering, hold on. Yeah. Isn't there an even more intense level? There is. For those ready to take it up a notch, okay. there's the 204 method okay. with a 20-hour fasting window oh. and a four-hour eating window. Okay. And the video emphasizes that blood type O individuals right. with their inherent ability to handle longer fasts yeah. can really thrive on this. 20 hours. Yeah. That's serious dedication. It is. But what are the potential rewards? Well, think about it. 20 <laughs> hours without food means your body is tapping into its fat reserves for energy. Right. Combine that with exercise. Okay. And you're talking about accelerated fat burning. Wow. Potentially even boosted growth hormone production. Uh-huh. Hello, anti-aging benefits. This is fascinating. It seems like intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. especially when tailored for blood type O, could be a powerful tool for optimizing health and wellness. Yeah. But let's be realistic. This isn't a quick fix. Right. It takes time and effort to adjust. It does. What does the video say about making this transition successfully? They stress the importance of listening to your body. Okay. And starting slowly. Mm -hmm. Don't jump into the deep end right away. Right. Ease into it gradually. Okay. Find what works for you. Yeah. And remember, consistency yeah. is key. So it's a marathon, not a sprint. Exactly. Be patient with yourself. Okay. Stay consistent. Got it. And celebrate those small wins along the way. Got that. The video highlights that the results yeah. increase energy, mm -hmm. fat loss, yeah. improved insulin sensitivity right. will be well worth the effort, Yeah. especially for those with blood typo. This has definitely sparked my curiosity. But I have to ask, yeah. for someone with blood type O who's completely new to intermittent fasting, yeah. where would you recommend they start? What's the first step on this journey? First and foremost, okay. consult with your healthcare provider before making any major dietary changes. Right. They can assess your individual needs yeah. and help you determine if intermittent fasting is right for you. That's such an important point. Yeah. We're all unique. Right. And what works for one person exactly. might not be suitable for another. Exactly. But assuming your doctor gives you the green light, yeah. what's next? The BioBoon by B13 YouTube channel okay. is a fantastic resource for blood type specific health advice. Okay. They offer tailored guidance for different blood types. Got it. Including specific dietary and lifestyle recommendations uh. that go hand in hand with intermittent fasting. So it's like having a personalized roadmap for your wellness journey. And what stands out to me is the sense of empowerment that comes with this approach. Yeah. It's not about restriction or deprivation. Right. It's about understanding your body's natural processes yeah. and using them to your advantage. I love that. Yeah. It's not about fitting into a mold, right? but about finding what works best for you is that... and your unique biology, Yeah. especially as someone with blood type O. Right, right. But let's be honest. A lot of people think of intermittent fasting as purely a weight loss tool. Yeah. What would you say to those folks? Yeah. Particularly those with blood type O uh -huh. who might be missing the bigger picture. I'd say weight loss can be a fantastic side effect. Okay. But it's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. What's really exciting is the potential for improving overall health and well-being right. for blood type O individuals. Mm -hmm. Intermittent fasting can be a key to tackling insulin resistance, yep. boosting energy levels, okay. and potentially even slowing down the aging process. It's almost like a ripple effect of wellness. Exactly. Starting with that simple shift in eating patterns. Precisely. By optimizing one aspect, yeah. like insulin sensitivity, uh -huh. we can potentially unlock a cascade of positive effects right. across multiple areas. This deep dive has definitely given me a lot to think about. Yeah. Especially considering my own blood type. Okay. But before we wrap up, yeah. I'm curious... What do you see as the most compelling takeaway sure. from all of this? Yeah. Particularly for someone with blood type O who's listening. For me, it's the realization that we have more control over our health okay. than we often realize. Yeah. 
Something as simple as adjusting the timing of our meals, uh -huh. aligning it with our blood type's natural tendencies, right. can have profound effects on our well-being. It's like we're unlocking a hidden potential exactly. that's been within us all along. And for those with blood type O, yeah. that potential is even more pronounced Interesting. by tapping into their ancestral strengths. Right. They can truly optimize their health uh -huh. and experience a level of vitality they might not have thought possible. Yeah, it's like we're rewriting the rules of like health and wellness. Right. Not by fighting our biology, mm -hmm. but by working with it. Exactly. In a way that feels so natural and empowering. Absolutely. And the best part is this isn't just about like theory or speculation. Right. There's a growing body of research okay. supporting the benefits of intermittent fasting. Yeah. Particularly for those with blood type O. Okay. Studies have shown that individuals with blood type O mm. who practice intermittent fasting tend to experience greater improvements in insulin sensitivity, wow. weight loss, okay. and even markers of inflammation compared to other blood types. That's so encouraging. It's like science is catching up mm. to what our ancestors already knew mm. intuitively. Yeah. That syncing our eating patterns with our blood type mm -hmm. can be like a key right. to unlocking optimal health. And it's not just about physical health either. Yeah. Many people report feeling more mentally sharp, experiencing better mood stability, uh -huh. and even having increased productivity when they adopt intermittent fasting. Okay. It's like giving your brain a boost yeah. along with your body. So it's a holistic approach to wellness. Precisely. Encompassing both the physical and mental yeah. aspects of our being. And that's what makes this so compelling. Okay. Especially for someone with blood type O. Right. It's about tapping into their unique biological blueprint uh -huh. and embracing a lifestyle that supports their overall well-being yeah. on every level. This entire conversation has been so enlightening. Well, thank you. We've learned about the power of intermittent fasting. Yeah. The unique advantages for blood type O individuals. Right. And the potential for like transformative health benefits. Absolutely. And the journey doesn't end here. Right. There's always more to discover. Yeah. To learn and to personalize for your own unique path. Absolutely. Wow. We encourage all our listeners. Yes. Especially those with blood type O. To dive deeper into the resources we've mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like the BioBoon by B13 YouTube channel. That's right. Consult with your healthcare provider. Good idea. And embark on your own exploration. Yeah. Of how intermittent fasting can help you achieve your wellness goals. Who knows what incredible changes await you on the other side of that fasting window. Right. Perhaps a healthier, yeah. more energetic, yeah. and more vibrant version of yourself. And on that note, we'll leave you with this final thought to ponder. Okay. What if the secret to optimal health and well-being isn't about adding more, right. but about strategically subtracting, hmm. about giving your body the space and time it needs to thrive? I like that. Food for thought, isn't it? It is. Until next time, keep exploring. Yes. Keep learning. Keep going. And keep diving deep.